Yeah, he was telling me, oh, he, he, <laughs> he knows the guy, and you're not going to believe this. Well, 90% of you are not going to believe this, but I believe it. He knows a guy who died in a car accident, and uh, in, 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 in uh, Chinese culture, when someone dies, you have to wait until a certain specific, like, they have, you have to consult, like, a spiritualist, and he'll consult, like, a spiritual calendar or something, or he'll, I don't know, he, and he'll pick, like, a certain date that, for the funeral. And if the date, some, the date can sometimes be as far as, like, a month or two ahead. So for that month or two, uh, I, I don't know how long, but, but a month, yeah, I've, I've heard of that. Uh, so, so for that month, uh, the body is often just kept in the house, like in your living room type of thing. Like, you know, like they, they say, okay, well, the best time for a funeral for your husband is in a month from now. So on this date, we'll have the funeral. So in, that, in the meantime, you just keep the body in like your living room or something. Like just on a, on a table. Like they'll get a special altar and stuff and cover it with a blanket. But it's, it's, just, it's sitting there in your house. Anyway, so this guy uh, had a car accident and died. And uh, he, the body was in storage, I guess in their house. Maybe some people keep it somewhere else. But if they don't have the money, they just keep it in their house. I don't know. Uh, so the body was like being waiting to be buried. <laughs> for 12 days okay and after 12 days 12 days he, he woke up came back to life and uh, and then and then the guy and then he was just telling me about how the guy changed uh, you know they said he was like pretty much an altogether different person uh, he's got knowledge now that like he didn't have before like he's a uh, he, he, like you know like he like he's good at math and stuff like that like that he wasn't before but he is now so and uh, and, uh, and and he can do some amazing things too like some 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 look at this idiot it's like a, it's like a blind corner over a hill like look at that Look at this, it's a crest. You can't see if there's a car coming. You can't see, it's a, it's a blind crest. And that car was like in the oncoming lane for it. Like that is insanity. Going in the oncoming lane on a double solid yellow over a top of a hill. So you have no idea what's coming. There could have been like, you know, ugh. it's in, insane. It's an absolute, absolute lack of common sense. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, uh yeah, for, for, like, as far as supernatural powers, the guy could do one thing that was interesting, he could take a rock and, and, and multiply it, like, he could take, you could give him, like, one rock, and he could make, and then, and then he could make it multiply into, like, five or six, um, yeah, things like that, he had some abilities. But yeah, yeah, I believe it. And yeah, we're, we're talking about other stuff like that, about the spiritual world and this and that. And some of it's scary. Because for one thing, he believes in hell, which is a, a really scary idea. Like that when you die, you might go to some place of eternal suffering. That's, that's scary. But yeah. And uh, I've talked about it in one of my other videos. I think it's... It's probably on YouTube, yeah. Something about just do a search for Mordeth 13 and ghosts. And on another video, I talk about the fact that I, I could, I, I, when I was a child, I, I could uh, see uh, spirits. Well, and, and not only could I did, and like regularly, like daily, daily I would see ghosts. Anyway, so he, we were talking about that a bit, and he was just saying that you know, like I'm sensitive to the other world and blah blah blah. And he says that the reason the ghosts, same thing that I've seen in movies. He said the reason, the reason I see ghosts is because the ghosts come to me because they know that I can see them and then they want me to help them with something but they don't speak our language and I don't understand theirs so that's why they just kind of come and then they try to commu communicate with me but they can't and then it's they just kind of hang around my my bedroom or whatever oh yeah another really interesting thing he said he said that you know he said that like children small children because they haven't learned not to can almost all see ghosts and then he said when children are around the age of like 
there's a certain age, uh, a certain age when they're young, like, I think like around three, four, five, something like that. Uh, when children, when the uh, children's like guardian angel will appear to the child or the child will see its own guardian angel. And he says, normally when the, ch when the, when the, the guardian angel like appears to the child, the child won't be able to accept it, or the, ch the child will be scared by it, like, you know, like it's a... Uh, and the child will, will, will most likely, like, start to scream and be, like, like just totally freaked out. And if you know anything about uh, parenting, and if you've read books on it, like I have, uh, the parenting books talk about a certain time when a child is uh, around that age, when they have something, it's called night terrors. You can Google it, it's called night terrors. And what it is is, look at this, he's in the turning lane and then they got a turning light and he's blocking off the turning lane. Nah. Anyways, um, yeah, there's a thing, uh, it's called night terrors and, and almost all children experience this. And what it is really is just the kids will wake up in the middle of the night and start to scream and scream and cry and their, what's that word, ear, Unconsolable? I irres uh, ir I don't know. My English sucks. Uh, they're just, you, you can't console them. You, you can't calm them down. They just, they're just hysterical. They're hysterical. That's the right word for it. They, and, and, and this is normal. It's so normal that they have a term for it. It's called night terrors, and, and the majority of children go through it at a young age. And, he's, and, and, and that's exactly what he was talking about. He's saying that all children, when they're around that certain age, they, they can see into the spirit world. And he says everyone has a spirit, like their, their own guardian angel. He didn't call it that, but that's what I'm, the term I'm using. He goes, no, everyone has their own spirit that follows them around. And, and uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure what the spirit does. But uh, he says that when, the, when you're a small child, your, 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 your spirit will appear to you at, at one point or another, usually around that age. And he usually will freak the kids out. So it's, it's I don't know it's, it's interesting it's interesting conversation